5 of 6 as we continue on the customs for LEGO DC Super Villains custom builds as I try to squeeze out as many of these as I can so bear with us and we shall carry on <laughs> hey guys welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains custom builds and here again for awesome exciting LEGO custom and today I continue on the custom LEGO DC Super Villains custom builds and of course than the Aqueduct who is probably a Namor villain if I had to guess He's obviously themed around water, so we're giving him ice powers and combat. That's the only notes I have for this guy, so a lesser known water villain. In we go. Do 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 in position. Right, so start things off with his hairstyle. Looking at that as we do. He has I have that's my notes. The this is it's my phone though, isn't it? There it is. His hair appears to be wavy, so scroll down to that, pop it in, wavy O2, dark red the hair, and then onto the head itself. This is going to be, I mean you could use bright red, but I want to make it look as intimidating as possible for the character for some respect for <laughs> Aquadoc fans. Human skin, facial hair will be dark red probably, and then he has a visor of a kind, uh, like a big fat chunky one like Music Meister. Only it's blue. Can you actually change the color of this? We can. This works fine. Uh, a bright blue for that then. Moving on out. Uh, going to the arms. These will be your Count Vertigo. Pop those in. And it has the moss green. Kind of like how we had that snake character. That hands are also lime green. Then the torso is... Um, interesting design. A Bane Belt torso. Uh, the actual is you know the actual area itself is going to be the moss green and then the belt is lime green and there is an emblem of like a T type emblem in there uh we've got like a bit blue on the chest and it goes on down a bit um mm -mm. if i put in probably like spade for a drop of water or something like that or something that resembles water i mean like snowflake there's that for you um, but if we want to look for something that looks like a T emblem of some kind, I mean the closest thing I can think of is probably the Riddler. Green that up. If you want to do that, but that makes it look like a, the Jim Carrey's Riddler in a way. Uh, let's see, the other alternative is like to use a different torso entirely. Um, I had this thing before where it was green. Prop uh, green at the sides, so... Up we go. I, I could use Pedro, but the problem there is that I'm concerned about we'll turn out. We'll try it though. You still have the human skin. It's just kind of weird seeing casual clothing on this guy's supposed to be wearing spandex. That's the problem of thinking these, because again, you have restrictive limitations here. What about Mirror Master? The only problem is it doesn't have the green where I want it to be. Mantis? Moss green. You know, if you look closely where that striped torso is, where the mantis is, it does actually resemble the thumbnail, so I probably will use that. Moving on to his hip piece, this is going to be, of course, switch to moss green. Leg section will be your straight legs. If you want to add detail, you could use like the Aquaman movie legs or something like that. So, there's that for you. Moss green that up. But it does break up on the bootwear a bit. So I'll just go with blank and uh, moss green it. Moving on out. Personality, of course, being your uh, green heart. Standard health. Voice uh, 2. Target module stars. Or you could go with like Captain Cole for the water element. Animation, martial artist. And then onto his abilities, of course. Uh... Chat is clean, tap square for the fighting, lunge attack 2, tap circle when I get to it is going to be, you could have it like a bubble shield, uh, which one looks like water, I like this one as the bubble shield probably, a uh, faint blue for it, and then you have your ice beam ability number 2, uh, a light, lightest blue, Beam Origin, I'm going to say left hand cuts, normally for me. Ice Beam, and then of course Light is Blue. 
X button, double jump number one, then to the skill set, scroll down, hmm, let's see, but down, Goon Command Tracking, uh, Illumination Stealth, well not the Illumination but the Stealth Shore, Graffiti, yeah. And uh, there we have it. Uh, since he's also water themed, you could go to abilities and add chlorokinesis to make plants grow. Basic information, villain, legion of doom, and there we have the aqueduct. Ah, uh, hi Craig, hello, super. Outside we go, showing off the abilities, and uh, the second to last custom for today is officially made. <laughs> right. Finding hold square, lunge attack, tap circle, uh, bubble shield, hold circle, ice beam, as well as your double jump respectively. But there we have the Aqua Dogs from Marvel Comics. Hope you guys enjoyed how he came out. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe with that good stuff, notification bell, right corner down below. So you can stay tuned for LEGO DC Supervillains custom builds, a response of other content on the channel. For our final character for today, it is the Bison. Stay tuned for that. Thank you. Stopping by, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next video where more customs will await us in the future. Till next time, peace out.